Hey guys, how's it going? So, as promised, um, earlier today, I'm going to give everybody an update on a daily basis, like a little video diary of what's been going on, um, to kind of help me, help you guys understand how I achieved all the weight loss uh, last time I did this whole kind of Fast 800 thing. So here we go, this is how it's gone today. So, first day into it. Um, so just to give you guys some context, uh, this weekend I went £10 over my target weight. Um, I was at my target weight and I was doing really, really well, but then it all kind of went tits up, really. Um, had a hard couple of weeks, work's been insane. Um, I just kind of let it slide, really. So this is where I started. I started off again. Started from the ground up. Um, and I chosen to uh, follow the rules of the Fast 800 again. Um, which is what I did last time and uh, I kind of chose a crazy day to do it really because today's been a bit of a nuts one really um, I had to take a half day at work today um, because my boy had a meltdown like oh my god like Jesus me he was off the freaking reservation <laughs> and uh, I, had, uh, I had the wife um, in tears I had my daughter in tears I had my boy going nuts and it was just a bad day to start, but I persevered anyway. So luckily enough, um, a new barbecue arrived today, and you guys know how I like my barbecues. So I was able to kind of pull Toby out of his um, out of his tantrum, um, if you can call it that. I think it was probably a little bit more than a tantrum, but I managed to pull him out of that with building the barbecue and then cooking on the barbecue. So barbecue can I, I think yeah, this is a good place to start actually. So barbecue can go one of two ways. Really, you can either stock up on the carbs um, with your breads and your pastas and all the other goodies that go with a good go with a barbecue, or you can stay to your proteins, a little bit of salad, and then you can enjoy all the goodies that you get out of a barbecue, um, but without breaking the bank carb wise. I think the big trick is is to stay away from um, your sugar heavy sauces like your barbecue sauce and everything like that. But if you do like dry rubs and stuff, uh, I've got a really, really um, good dry rub which I can give you. Actually, I've named it the Badass Brisket Rub, <laughs> which is really nice. Uh, it's just a, a collection of herbs and spices and a little bit of salt. It's perfect. And you whack it on pretty much any meat, not just brisket. I put it on some um, pork belly today. And uh, it came out really, really well. Um, and where is a dry rub as well? It means it's not got all that sugar in it and stuff that kind of builds up those carbs and everything. So uh, I really like to kind of focus in a little bit on the barbecue because it is another one of my passions um, to see how we can achieve a barbecue without busting the carb bank. So uh, I, I might do a couple of those, actually. I might do a live barbecue. That'd be pretty cool. So what have I had today, then? What have I had today? Well... As you all know, uh, if you watched my little thing this morning, um, I, or was it last night? No, it was this morning. Um, I had a crazy weekend. I ate an insane amount of ice cream. Um, I had bread. I had cake. All the things that we shouldn't really be doing. Do you know what I mean? To lose weight. And that's, that's in part um, why I put on £10. Um, so today... Um, the majority of the day, I've actually not wanted to eat. Uh, I've still been full after the weekend. Um, and you know you've eaten too much food on the weekend when you don't have to eat the following day. And mate, I was good till probably about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and probably about 2 o'clock my tummy started to rumble. And, you know, I was, my body was telling me it was time to actually eat something. Um, I've been drinking black coffee for the, re for the rest of the day, earlier on in the day, and that's a really good one. Um, you guys probably already know the black coffee trick. Uh, it's really, really good if you want to um, kind of suppress the need to eat or the crave to eat. Um, I love it. A couple of sweeteners, you know, uh, say what you say about sweeteners, but it worked for me. Keeps the uh, insulin down and everything. Um, so, yeah, I filled up on black coffee. And then this afternoon I did my um, my pork belly barbecue and we had a little bit of salad with that. Nothing massive, um, nothing to break the bank. So I've been a bit like, almost like, <laughs> today I've almost been on an OMAD diet. Um, if, if you don't know what it is, like a one meal a day diet. A couple of people on the group do it. 
Um, but that's only because I'm still full over the weekend, from the weekend. So usually I'd, I'd probably eat, um, kind of a yogurt in the morning, um, a salad in the afternoon for my midday lunch, mid, midday lunch, and then a big meal in the evening, um, just to kind of, you know, get all the nutrients and stuff like that. So that's what I've done today. Um, I also went down and bought some electrolytes as well. Um, I'll show you actually, these ones are great. Uh, I tried a couple. Come with me into my kitchen. Sorry if you see the place, it's a state at the moment. So these are the ones I got. Yeah, I'm gonna sit back down again. Ooh, so this is what I got. Now I've put them on my um on the products page of my my blog, yeah. But if you go into B and M, they've got these little packets of them and they're like two pound, but they're effervescent, so they're really, really easy to take. And honestly, these things are like gold. Yeah. Um, before I started taking these, I was getting achy knees, all the, all the telltale signs of not having enough electrolytes in your body. Um, I was getting kind of fatigue and stuff like that. Started taking these, and bang, you know, they got all the good ones in them, the potassium and stuff like that, magnesium. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, that was a bit rude. Uh, yeah, magnesium, potassium, calcium, vitamin C, sodium, green tea, Ooh. and sodium. Yeah, sodium. So the, the three main ones that they're, they're going to help with the fatigue and stuff are the magnesium, the potassium, and sodium, I believe, after I had a little read about it. I have to admit, I've not had a huge read on it, but I've had enough. So, and they're just like, they're just like that. They're just like Barocas. Yeah. Um, they fizz up. These are the lemon ones, and they're super nice. Um, I did go into um, Home Bargains and I got, you know, at the moment in Home Bargains, they've got the, they're doing all the health stuff at the moment in Home Bargains, aren't they? And I bought these SIS ones and they were just absolutely disgusting. Um, they left this horrible grit in the glass that, you know, is kind of silt at the bottom of your drink and they'd be like that, you know, usually with, with these or a Barocca, you, you get a little bit at the bottom, you swirl it around and it dissolves, but... The stuff I got there was, was just shit. Um, so they are two pounds, but bloody hell, they're good. Um, and you know, there's a week's worth just there for two quid. You know, let's face it, I spend two quid sitting on the toilet, mate, um, <laughs> or a penny. <laughs> so, um, two pounds, get some of these really good for giving me a little pick me up. You can take them alongside your broccoli as well to give yourself like a supercharge, which I really, really do, do like sometimes. So yeah, that's me. Um, it's eight o'clock now, or it's coming up to eight o'clock. Uh, so this is going to stop eating now. Um, I'm not going to start eating again until ten o'clock tomorrow. Uh, so I get a nice twelve hour fast. Um, I might go a bit longer. Sometimes I go through for, until lunchtime. It kind of depends how I feel at the time. Um, sometimes I just feel as though I don't need to eat, you know. And sometimes it'll kind of get to eleven o'clock, and I'm just like, well. You know, I may as well just sit out until lunchtime now. You know, there's no point in eating. I'll just go and grab a, a black coffee or something and just crack on, you know. So, um, but yeah, that's that's my plan. So I'll do another one of these tomorrow and tell you what my plans are tomorrow. Um, I was going to make some fat bombs tonight, but to tell you the truth, it's been such a hectic day. It's been a really, really hard day. And I'm just going to sit down, um, play some Xbox, drink some black coffee, decaf, obviously, because otherwise I'm not going to sleep. Um, oh, that's another thing I wanted to say. Is one more thing, actually, just just before I go. Um, so this one, I, I've been thinking about this one for a while, right? And you know, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm not guilty of this one. I'm not the only person who's guilty of this one yet. But I'll go to bed, right? And before I go to bed, I'm looking at my phone. I'm watching the TV. You know, the old brains ticking over and everything like that. And of late, I've been going to bed and I've been taking my phone out with me and me and Joe sat there using our phones and you know how it gets. You sat there at night and you scroll, 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 scroll and it's all crap. You know, everything you're reading and watching is, is all rubbish. Um, you might get the odd meme or something that makes you chuckle, but it's all bollocks really. You know, so tonight I, um, for one, um, I aim to get to bed before 11 o'clock which would be a miracle because we've been going to bed at like half past 12 at night every night for the past week. You can see that I look like a bag of shit. Uh, um, so when I go to bed, I'm going to switch my phone off. That's it. Uh, before I go upstairs, I'm switching my phone off. And then I haven't got the option to look at it. You know, the addiction has to be broken 
we all know what the Facebook addiction is. So, yeah, um, that's, that's something I'm going to try tonight as well, so I can try and kick my sleep barons back into action as well, because I think uh, sleep is, like, half the battle. Do you know what I mean? If, if, you're, if you're mentally not, you know, not, I'm not going to say stable, but if you're not mentally strong, then how can you be physically strong? And, you know, so I'm going to try that. So I'll let you know how that goes tomorrow as well. So I'll probably do another, another little vlog um, type thing uh, tomorrow evening again, around about this time. So if you're interested in what I'm saying and you're interested in my journey for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do this for two weeks, yeah? If you're interested in this journey for the next couple of weeks, um, then log in around about 8 o'clock. Oh, actually, tomorrow night. <laughs> I can't do it tomorrow night. I'll have to do it earlier in the night because I've got a guitar lesson um, at 7.30, so I'll run into the 8 o'clock. So I might... I might just do it after the my guitar lesson. So it should be finished by like quarter past eight or something like that. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing my journey and seeing how I did it last time, because I'm almost certain I can lose £10 in two weeks. In fact, I am certain I can lose £10 in two weeks. And that's my that's my focus. So come along and join me with it, guys. Um, see if you can, you know, pick a number that you want to lose and see if we can do it together. And... Uh, yeah, let's 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 freaking nail it. Cool guys. Okay, well I'll start waffling on. This has been quite a long video. I have no idea I mean, how long I've been going on for. But um but yeah, I just wanted to tell you how it's been going. So have a great night guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow. See you later.